Traders, today is the 29th of December 2010, and uh, happy trading to you all uh, directly from the headquarters of the TSTW SYS08. Uh, we wish you a very happy uh, trading day. Uh, Frankfurt is now open, okay. So, guten Morgen, guten Tag, okay. So, we get uh, to all the German people uh, that are uh, now uh, trading in Germany because uh, uh, Frankfurt will open first. Uh, this is the Europe uh, uh, Stock Exchange of Frankfurt in Germany, okay. Uh, so, uh, you open first and then uh, London will open an hour later. Uh, but we will enter the market after London opens, okay. Uh, because uh, for all the activity that will usually go on uh, before London open, okay, but London will command uh, Frankfurt, not because it's superior in one way or another, but that's how the business goes every day, okay. I have here uh, the Alcoa, Alcoa, okay, stock, okay, listed on the Dow Jones, okay, Dow Jones index. Uh, this is the daily chart of Alcoa stock, okay? And I have uh, below here uh, the momentum indicator, a uh, period 16, 1, 6. Why did I choose 16, okay? I just choose 16 uh, for educational purposes only, okay? Like every other tool, you must test it on the time frame that you want to trade on, the higher time frame, and to know which uh, parameters is suitable for the monthly chart, weekly chart, and so on, so that you do not just use the indicator anyhow. Every indicator that you want to use, whether the MACD, whether uh, the stochastic, you must try them, test them, test them until you are satisfied with their performance before you put them on the chart and use them, okay? Very, very important. Now, I have here a uh, period 16 of momentum indicator, okay? The momentum indicator is also similar to uh, the RSI indicator. It is also similar to the ROC, which is the rate of change indicator, rate of change indicator, RSI indicator, okay? And uh, this is uh, exactly in the same family, okay? They do similar job. And when the momentum indicator is above the zero line, which I cannot draw on this chart, the software does not allow me to do that, so the zero line is somewhere here, okay? It's above the zero line as it is here. Uh, the price is considered as bullish, okay? And when the momentum is uh, below the zero line, uh, the price is considered as bearish. And also when the momentum is sloping down, okay? It's sloping down here. Yeah, the, the, the price is considered as uh, uh, bearish, okay? And when it's sloping up, okay? Sloping up is considered as also the price considered as uh, a bullish also and also when the uh, when the momentum display also some bearish chart pattern like a double top as you can see here there was a top here another top on this indicator is considered the price considered also as a bearish okay and also when the momentum is displaying the uh, uh, higher lows and higher high which is uh, a bullish pattern you will is also indicating to us there is uh, accumulation going on okay so people uh, start buying before uh, uh, the smart money is busy buying when the majority of traders are still selling because the momentum is indicating to us uh, the enthusiasm in the market so the point I want you to remember in this video is that the momentum indicator, when we're talking about momentum, we are talking about the enthusiasm, okay? Are they up for it? Are they gagging for it, so to speak, okay? If I'm allowed to speak like this to you or not, if you feel offended, please don't forgive me, okay? So, are they, are, they, are they ready for it? So, when we see the momentum quite above and rising above the zero line, we know that the bear are very, very uh, enthusiastic to buy, okay? The market is, uh, is very, very bullish okay it's just to tell us the sentiment so if you are looking for indicator to 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 figure out the sentiment in the market the best indicator is the momentum indicator so when you plot you plot this indicator on the chart you are measuring the enthusiasm in the market that's why when you see the, this indicator displaying a lower a lower highs and lower lows you know that it's looking a bit bearish but as always your eyes must be first on the price not on indicator so when you see something on the indicator you look at the price which is the number one indicator to confirm what the indicator is telling you before you enter the trade this is about timing your trade and making the right decision by the way the tstw24 or any other tstw uh, uh, 
uh, do not use the, t the momentum indicator. We do not use the momentum indicator in our uh, trading system. Uh, this is only for educational purposes only, but uh, it's still a powerful tool. As you can see, it's above the zero line in this session here where I'm moving my cursor. So what do you need to do? You wait for the price to give you higher lows and higher highs, okay? So when the price gives you a higher lows, okay, in this particular case, this, high, this low compared to this low, okay, you will be looking for opportunity to buy. You do not just buy, you look for opportunity to buy. Uh, and then you buy like a professional traders, okay? And uh, one thing that I always say to people when I'm doing my video that people think that uh, maybe I'm talking a bit too much uh, is that when a price pull back like this, people get caught sometimes because in this particular case, the price pull back like this, this is a valid one, the price went up, okay? Now, sometimes you will see the price will give a nice pullback like this only to fail. Now, with the GSTW24 trading system, we have a filter that allows us not to fall, fall into that kind of trap. That's the only thing I need to mention here. That's the advantage of using the TSTW24 trading system, okay? And here also, it pull back nicely. Sometimes, the price will pull back like this. People will buy only to see the price going down further down, okay? But here, it worked perfectly. The momentum was above. The price gave a higher lows, okay? Displaying the higher lows, higher high, it's bullish. Right now, the price of this are as I'm speaking now. Uh, yesterday, it did uh, close at uh, 15.25, okay? As you can see, it's at uh, this uh, resistance zone, or if you want to, uh, if I can draw it for you, you can see it, you, uh, you look at it yourself, okay? Because this uh, year we'll be looking. So the price at the resistance zone around the 15 is now uh, so here, okay, just above 15. If the price cross below the 15, okay, the 15.00 level, okay, that will be bearish, okay, so we start looking for opportunity to sell. So sometimes you can see the price will go above the resistance line, the fooling people that uh, is a breakout only to come back down below the the, the, the resistance level right there, okay? So you will be looking for opportunity to sell below the region of 15, okay? On your daily chart using the top-down trading method, okay? For those who are using the TSTW, SYS, your uh, they know exactly what to look for and what to uh, search for. In the uptrend, the only time that uh, we will sell as a TST, uh, w 24 traders is when we receive a single red and uh, a double red a signal okay and also uh, in this particular case the resistance uh, this is a very beautiful signal sometimes when you see the price go above the resistance level as a breakout and only to come back down it's obvious you do not need uh, any more uh, information for that so the momentum indicator is telling you the enthusiasm so you see it was uh, in this case below the zero line in this session here where i press my cursor it was below the zero line and the price was going down so you will be looking for bearish pattern and then lower high so the price display lower high trend line is broken you sell okay and uh, you use uh, the tstw24 traders know exactly what to look for so it's just telling you how uh, the, the bears are enthusiastic or how the bulls are enthusiastic about the activity that they are doing okay like in all trading when do you know that the trend has ended okay or the trend in this case here as you can see okay it went from uh, below okay above the zero line only to return back below the zero line okay those who are using the alien wave theory will know that in this zone the 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 the, 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 the game is is almost finished okay so they won't be looking for a trending pattern here because the problem that many problem many traders will face with this indicator that when they see it coming again out like they say ah there's a new trend beginning and they will buy here okay and they start buying thinking that the price is going to go up but the the, the, the the game is finished we are now in consolidation period and they will give back some of their profit that they have earned in this downtrend not knowing that the price was consolidating so be aware of it when we are in a consolidation period this uh, indicator you need to understand look at the price itself if you fail to look at the price itself it he will put you in trouble because as soon as you're going up, you will think that the price will continue a new uptrend, but it, it will just turn around again and come back down. That's where people think that it's a useless indicator, but it's not useless. If you recognize that you are in consolidation period, you will see that you will be going above the zero line and then come back below the zero line, go above again the zero line, and go a, a below the zero line and go up again and up and down. So it's rotating around the zero line during the consolidation period without any clear uh, trend. And then when the trend uh, begins, you will see that here, as you can see, it went above the zero line clearly and start going up, okay? 
with the TSTW24 trading system when the trend begins we will know clearly on the daily chart okay and uh, we will be ready to take it okay this is how you will use the RSI uh, not the RSI indicator the momentum indicator which is similar to the RSI indicator above zero is bullish but the point to remember in this video that when it's above zero the bulls are very enthusiastic it's a sentiment indicator when it's below zero the bear are very enthusiastic okay it's a sentiment indicator i hope you enjoyed this video that you put into practice in order to cream the market consistently until the next time enjoy yourself and be very happy speak to you soon thank you for watching